Okay guys, so today I'm pretty excited because I'm finally going to be able to, after many years, show you guys how to properly make uh, simple, basic birch bark containers. So I haven't been able to do this very often or really up until now because of all the safety sally environmentalists who say, oh, you can't, you know, strip the bark off of a healthy birch tree, it'll kill it and all that stuff. It really won't, but uh, this stuff was actually sourced, as you guys are seeing in the video, off of a truly dead birch tree. So we will be able to use this without any real consequences because the tree's already dead. It's already been felled by a beaver. So this tree is done. So anyways, let's get this started. Now I like birch bark because of myself and many of the uh, original peoples of the world liked birch bark because it's naturally a very pliable, very malleable bark. So let's do this. Okay guys, so like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this. Now sadly, I kind of goofed it up on a few of these, but ultimately you do want to take your time whenever building birch crafts like this and make sure that you take your time. I didn't take my time, kind of screwed up on a few of them, but I will show you guys the basic premise to actually making uh, the knot, or not so much knot, but how to actually make the enclosure. So it's very basic. What you're going to want to do is make cuts like you see here. And this allows you to bend both ends, such as this, kind of bending them into each other. And then you want to make a hole right about here and right about here and bend them into each other and basically pin it in. Now that's what I did here to show you guys. And this can be done in many different ways. Now, if you want to make this truly waterproof, you could use some spruce pitch or different things like that to close up any of the gap. But for the most part, this works as a container really well. Now, that was all we could do. So, now that was all we could do to save this piece of bark. Now, I did like it, but let me show you guys what it should actually look like. Now, this is very rough, and you could certainly fine-tune this if you desired, but this is the basic premise of what I'm talking about of creating a birch bowl. Now, let me go show you guys why the native Alaskans especially loved birch so much. I'll be right back. Now, by no means is my creation here perfect. There certainly are better ones. Mine is leaking a little bit because of a slight tear in uh, one of these. But um, the reason why the uh, native tribes liked birch so much is, as you guys can see here, aside from the leak on this side, uh, and I could have done a better job at making this so that it would be leak proof, but you guys can actually see that. Hopefully you guys can see that it is holding water. So that's what they liked, what native tribes liked so much about these birch bowls, is not only could you go harvest berries with them and use them as baskets, like their wicker baskets that they used, uh, wi or that they wove with willow, but you could also take these and in a very quick way, make a waterproof basket that you could use to haul water. So that is what the native tribes loved so much about these awesome little birch bowls. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this quick little primitive tips and uh, tricks. And like I said, I wanted to show you guys a completed 
birch bowl so that you guys could actually see what they're supposed to look like. And once again, the biggest difference here is a lot of native tribes actually used actually used um, black spruce root because black spruce root is a really great cordage and they usually use that on these instead of uh, little plugs like these but I just wanted to show you guys that you could actually design and make uh, birch bowls and use these little uh, plugs like this and it works just fine and it makes a nice little pretty bowl. So anyways guys that's all for now. God bless and I'm out.